hi guys this is Colette welcome back to my channel I just um, got in I had to go on the road to get some errands done <clears throat> excuse me and while I was out I stopped at Walgreens on a whim I probably shouldn't have done that so I have the plastic bag here and you might hear a little rustling or a lot of rustling <clears throat> but they are in the bag and I'm just trying to situate myself so I can get the stuff out that I purchased so I went to Walgreens looking for the Iman cosmetics lipsticks okay right. let's get to this I saw them in the store a couple of days ago. I saw the swatches because they actually have swatches for the lip liners. They have swatches for the lipsticks. And I was amazed. So it is, I think it is limited edition. The thing said limited edition. And um, I don't own any Iman Cosmetics um, lipsticks. I have a little palette that I purchased in December. And I really like the quality of the lipsticks, so I figured, why not get two, at least two of the lipsticks? And I only chose two because a lot of the colors are already things that I own in my collection. Like, at some point you start thinking, eh, okay, well I already have that. How is it any different? It's a pink, a bright pink is just a bright pink. A fuchsia is going to be a fuchsia, whether it's from Revlon or wherever, just my opinion. Because at the end of the day, they all look the same on me. So, I decided to pick two colors. Let me open this one real quick. I think there are five colors there. If I'm not mistaken, because I don't really remember. But I picked up Flirtatious. And I also picked up Taboo. And I really went looking for Taboo. Now, on my lip is just my MAC magenta lip liner looks like that and that's pretty much all I wore today that lip liner so I kind of clean it off a bit and the lip is moisturized so I'm gonna put this bad boy on for you OMG you know something it's slipping around a bit all right it's smooth I like the color hold on just one moment, the bomb that's on there is a little too, um, thing, see, starts moving away. Let's just wipe that off. And we go and try again and see what happens. Okay. Now let's see how taboo applies. Eh, that's flirtatious. Taboo is over here. Okay. It says Iman. Iman is written right there in the lipstick it still separates on my lip what the hell is going on hmm it's kinda weird one thing on my lip is the lip liner I think I'm gonna have to work with this one some it's a pretty color well, the texture is a bit weird. Hmm. Well, I'm going to have to try this. I'm going to exfoliate my lips, which I did yesterday. I don't think I need to exfoliate. But it is a little bit of a pain to apply. So I'm going to do a little work on my lips. And then try it again another time. But that's how it looks on me. It's a really, I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of a bright grape. And it does stain your lip. Oh my gosh. That is rather bright. Okay, my lips are being abused right now. So, yeah. Ooh. Just using a wet makeup wipe. 
So I'll try that again another time. Oh my goodness. Okay. Ooh, that just made a mess. All right, so that's that. I'm gonna try flirtatious. This is smooth. Goes on. It didn't slide around on my lip. It didn't separate and cause a problem. Hmm. Something with that purple taboo. It's kind of weird. Okay, so that is flirtatious. Is it very nice? Um, that's the lippy, and um, the package is a, packaging is nothing to squeal about in my opinion. It's just a, a regular eh, package. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so from Iman, I also got the lip liner in Midnight. And let me swatch that for you. It looks feels a bit hard though, but that's what Midnight looks like. That's Midnight. So we're going to go with that. So these are the three things I, I really picked up from Iman Cosmetics. Okay, so then I spotted the Milani section. Yeah, I spotted Milani. And I kind of went... <laughs> yeah, it was just like... Yeah. Anywho, I'm not going to lip swatch this, but I'm going to bust it open for you guys. I picked up the Lip Intense Liquid Color in Fiery Coral. It's that color. And like I said, I picked this color based on the fact that, you know, after a while, on me, the colors all kind of look the same. And it's, the packaging looks very pretty. Look at that. It's a very nice packaging. Gold top. Ooh, this little slender thing comes out. Way there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is a swatch of this. It it is true to color. So whatever I guess. Look at that. It's just prettiness in a tube. Oh my. Well the packet says it wears as a lipstick. Where is it here? It says heavily pigment heavily pigmented high shine gloss with the longevity of a lipstick and it says for best results use Milan's anti-feathering lip pencil which I also picked up and it looks like this I love the packaging it's just a little more gold and, and it's pretty and is this is just a clear it's just a clear pencil okay so I'm going to try that and see how that works I also picked up the sh brow shaping clear wax because my brows tend to be very unruly so I picked up that to try it and look at the opening because you can't if you swatch it you don't see anything and I picked up two of these um, brow brow and eye thingies I picked up vanilla and natural taupe and matte beige and high glow this one belongs to that packaging, okay? So, oh, finally got it open. Okay, hazard warning. See, every one I've opened, it's so tight, the cap is, that it really does um, mess up the tip. No bueno. So, this is the matte beige. And I got this for highlighting under the brow. I figured it would be nice. And this one, when I opened it, the same thing happened. I ruined the tip of it because the cap was so tight. So this is the highlighter 
The highlighter is very pretty. That's the highlighter. See that? Very pretty highlight. And um, the vanilla and natural taupe would be this one. I bought this one for the matte beige color, really. But I, I kind of like the highlight. It is a pretty highlight. Yeah, I'm trying to show it to you again. Whatever. Okay. This is the vanilla side. I'm trying to. This is the vanilla. Buff it out like that. They say you can use it as a shadow or as a base or to highlight under your brow. And this would be the taupe section and that's the taupe um, what did it say natural taupe so that would be the natural taupe and in between here um, as you see my hand is all swatched out um, it's the Iman cosmetics things that I tested in store but there it is so those are the things that I picked up just now and um, yeah, I'm really excited about trying out these things and seeing, you know, just how they they are. I'm going to work on, see how I can get this to not skip about on my lip and get it to stay. I think I'm probably going to use it with either my MAC Prep and Prime as a base first or the new Milani anti-feathering and see how it behaves on my lip because I'm disappointed now with the way this applies and uh, yeah so that's it guys thank you for watching this mini haul video I'm going to um, do some editing and thank you for watching thank you for your time bye